I opened up this bag and uh, it has my uh, mixture in it and it had like a sewer gas smell to it. I thought, oh, okay, slightly saturated there. I thought maybe that's the answer. So I've set up this arrangement. Hang on, there you go. Go for a bit of a walkabout. So I filled up one of these jars with the mixture. So it is saturated now, but and the water only just comes up to there. So it should keep really cool, saturated, but slowly it'll, it'll dry out. And then I'll put this over the top, like that. I can stand it up probably. There's some stuff going on the edge there, but anyway, that will sort itself out eventually. And I'll just sit that over the top there. So we'll get the humidity, because it's got the standard hole in the top. And I find that, and, and you, know, you can't roast something with, a, with that sort of size hole in the top, I've noticed over the well, over the years anyway. So that will just sit on there, so it'll be completely uh, hot and humid there, saturated but cool down the bottom for the roots. Maybe the saturation with the roots is not the quite idea, but then from these other ones, I'll be able to tell from cool but not saturated to this, which is the way to go. It's just that from this sewer gas type smell, I might be able to get the uh, Zincapria uh, growing properly and get those lovely red roots. If I get those lovely red roots, then I know that's the correct direction I'm heading in. So we'll see, that's the aim is to get that organism to grow, get the roots to produce those lovely crimson red root hairs and uh, leaf bases and things like that. Then I know I'm going heading in the right direction. And we'll see. The other ones, this other one here, this Citocenius, oh, it's struggling, it's getting a bit too hot in there, and I've got sort of a bit of fungus growing on some of the leaves, but I'll keep the experiment going because that's the way I like to do things, just keep things running. See, love killing plants, so <laughs> that's the way you learn, isn't it? <laughs>